If you have a quarter from 1969, you want to look for these things that can make these coins valuable. Now, first up, welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. This Washington quarter here is the Denver Minted quarter from 1969. You'll see that DMET mark there on the obverse of the coin. Now, this coin ended up selling for $528. Now, why would a 1969 pretty common dated quarter sell for that much money? Well, it's because of its condition. It is graded at a mint state 67 plus. So that is where all of the value for this coin comes in is its grade, its condition. If there's not many at this grade, then that's what makes it valuable. Now, if you go just go down just not much lower here, mint state 67. The last coin, 67 plus, this just the regular 67 grade. This coin only sold for $61. So a big difference in values there based on the grade of the coin. I mean, that is like huge difference in values uh, based off something really, really small. All right, so here's a 1969. This is something that you could really look for, guys, on your 1969 quarters with your coin microscopes. First off, you want to look for a repunched D mint mark. So get your coin microscopes out, coin loops. If you don't have one, I have them available for you guys in the link below this video. It's below every single one of my coin videos. So feel free to hit those links if you guys want to pick one up today. Now, this coin has a repunched mint mark. As you've seen, there are numerous different examples that you can look for on the 1969 quarter. For this particular one, it is FS501, and the coin ended up selling for $63 at auction. Now this next coin, also a repunch D mint mark, RPM, FS501. It is also graded at a 66, but it sold for $144. So that goes to show you, it depends on when you sell the coin as well. What is the market like? How many are on the market? You know, uh, the demand for it at the time in which you sell it, things like that. This next quarter here is the 1969 Philadelphia minted Washington quarter. So this coin sold for $480 because of its mint state 67 grade. Now this is different than the D mint mark. This is the Philadelphia mint, not the Denver mint. That is what this particular quarter is valued at right now on the market, mint state 67, $480. Now if you compare it to the same exact coin, one grade lower at a mint state 66, this coin only sold for $71. So, you know, almost a $400 difference or over a $400 difference in values there just from one grade away, you know, 67, 66. So keep that in mind. So if you guys want some free silver, click that link in the comments below, sign up today, download the WhatNot app. I'm giving away a ton of free silver coins. It's literally free silver. All you have to do is click that link in the comments below. I'm live every single Tuesday and Friday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time, only on the WhatNot app. So once you download the app, you get the $15 off your very first purchase. You can purchase coins, purses, shoes, whatever you want. It doesn't even have to be from my stream. It's all up to you of how you use your $15 credit. And then you can continue to come into my streams every Tuesday and Friday night and you can get in on the free giveaways. You don't even have to buy anything to get in on the giveaways. You just have to be watching live. So hit that link in the comments below and get your free $15 credit today. Now also on your proof quarters. So if you have any 1969 proof coin sets, you want to inspect your quarters in those sets. This is a doubled die obverse. Here's what that doubling looks like on the 1969 proof quarter. This again is the S mint mark minted at the San Francisco mint. And this coin ended up selling for $312 at auction. Again, you wanna look for that doubling on the lettering, the word Liberty, as well as the date 1969 itself. Now we also have a very high graded version of the proof quarter here from 1969. This does not have any mint errors or doubling. It's just a very high graded coin graded at a 69 one grade away from a perfect grade. This coin sold for $252. But you also want to look for an RPM. We've talked about repunched mint marks on the D mint mark. You also want to look for that on the proof quarter for the S mint mark. This example here sold for $57, graded at a proof 67. This example here has the repunched S mint mark as well, graded at a proof 68 plus, ended up selling for $104. So about double the value of the coin that was at a proof 67. 
This one's at a 68 plus. So always pay attention to your coins. Check out the rest of the videos here on the channel where I show you other coins that you should be looking for. And don't forget to hit those links in the comments below if you guys need some coin collecting supplies. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.